This is the marshmallow fluff. I used vegan vanilla marshmallows that's mixed with milk from grass-fed cows. And you fluff it up like that, and you have to let it cool completely before mixing in the whipped cream. Okay, so these are the crushed Oreos. I scraped the frosting out, and I'm putting them in this ceramic casserole dish. Mashallah. These will be the chocolate bars I use in the recipe. It said to use an almond chocolate bar, so this little one's looked pretty good. Mashallah. And it's a non-GMO, and they donate some to the Rainforest Alliance. Okay, so now I have chopped up those chocolate bars. They will be folded in at the end. So you have to beat the whipped cream and the marshmallow mix mixture together quite well. Okay, I beat it by hand, but if you want to use an electric mixer, you can. Then we will fold in the chocolate bar. Okay, the chocolate bars are chopped up real fine and now folded into the marshmallow milk mixture, fluff you could call it. Now it's time to pour it onto the crushed Oreos. Okay, the mixture is poured over the cookies. Gonna soak this overnight, basically, you know, the cookies will soften up, become really tender, I could argue, and it'll firm up as well. So the flavors will have time to sort of marinate and we'll have some of this tomorrow, inshallah. Okay, this is what it looks like plated now that it has set. So the texture I notice is kind of looser on the bottom. It didn't really form its own crust in the terms of a pie crust, but it's still really great. So hopefully you can try it as well. And then this is what the layers look like in the dish. So it really sets on top real nice. It's called the s'mores dessert for a reason. I think next time I'll do it with a graham cracker cookie crust on the bottom instead of the Oreo, but it did give the option for both. So I think since it has chocolate minced in, that the classic graham crackers that you would use for a s'more would make more sense on the bottom. So. Hopefully you can try it as well. Looks great, mashallah.